They came here to dig for gold. Now they're digging out bodies. Early Thursday morning, a powerful landslide hit the village of Pantukan in southern Philippines. It buried dozens of people. This area is known for its illegal gold mine operations. For years, gold has been smuggled out of here, but its people remain very poor. There's always the threat of another landslide. It forces the rescuers digging for victims to frequently stop their search. Deadly landslides here are nothing new. However, the sheer number of those killed here may mean that the government will finally be forced to take decisive action. The Philippine government has now ordered people living nearby to be evicted and to stop all illegal small-scale gold mining. But that doesn't make a difference now to Abe Tolentino. He's searching through what's left of his home looking for his daughter. All four of his children died in the landslide. I don't know how to start my life again. My entire family is gone. Relatives of the missing visit funeral homes to see whether a family member has been found. But for these people, their search for a better life will have to be put on hold. This card mountain has shown them once again how much their dreams can cost. 
Jamela Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Compostela Valley, Southern Philippines. Brooks Point, Mantalingahan Mountain Range in southern Palawan, are one of the key biodiversity areas in the world. It contains vast tracts of virgin forests, numerous watershed areas, and is home to known and undiscovered endemic species. Farmers and indigenous people rely on this vital watershed area for their survival. going to let this happen. Sign up. Make a stand. Say no to mining in Palawan now.